Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. So in this video, uh, in this plug side chat, I wanted to discuss what I think is the most important dimension of a DC fast charging station. Now, the reason I bring this up is I, I see a number of charging uh, station manufacturers and charging network providers that are, are still sort of ignoring this and we as electric vehicle drivers are sort of paying the, you know the price the consequences for it and to me the the number one most important dimension of a dc fast charger is the depth of the charger and i'll be a little bit hyperbolic here but uh it really doesn't matter as much how wide across it is and how tall it is uh, I mean, in theory, you could have a DC fast charger that's 10 feet wide and 10 feet tall, and it would still have less impact on the implementation than if you had one that's an extra six inches deep. And the reason for that is uh, a lot of times when you see chargers, uh, like level two chargers, they're ideally placed. They're at the head of a parking space. And you can get away with that because they have the narrow profile and they fit on a very narrow pedestal and you can put them at the end of the parking space so that cars can either pull in nose first or they can back in tail first, depending on the car and the preferences of the owner. Now, with DC fast chargers though, a lot of what you see uh, are these really thin thick stations that end up getting wedged between parking spaces because they require such a large platform. And it has a number of costs to it, including, you know, every, every so many chargers that you install, you actually lose another char uh, parking space in, in that uh, um, parking lot. And that's a big deal because for businesses to want to uh, implement chargers, they're not going to want to lose the number of vehicles that can pull into and park in their in their stalls. So, uh, so far, the only two companies that I see really get this, or the obvious one is Tesla. And uh, because of their narrow supercharger structure, they can fit between parking spaces uh, and, and not violate, you know, local laws and regulations regarding um, how wide a parking space needs to be um, and they can fit at the end of a parking space and not really impact the requirements for how long a parking space needs to be because there are these very narrow uh, chargers. The other one that gets it is ChargePoint and ChargePoint you know they even their tritium stations that uh, are, are, are thicker than their new express stations they're still half the depth of like uh, the standard EV go stations made by ABB or any of these other manufacturers. And, and that's a big deal. Uh, and part of it though, I think goes into the philosophy of how they're planning on implementing them. Uh, Tesla obviously implements in a large number. And so they're, they're looking to put in eight, 10, 12, sometimes up to 40 chargers in a, in a location, depending on the site. Uh, they can't afford to be losing parking spaces with every few chargers they, they put in. And if you look at ChargePoint, it's very clear with their Cube and their Express Plus chargers that they're planning on implementing chargers, uh, 18, or uh, sorry, 8 to 16 of them in a single location. So uh, it makes sense for them as well that they don't want to. And I'm going to use this as, you know, I... I was going to do a separate video on this, but I really feel like I need to, to um, address Electrify America. Uh, and recently they opened up their site in Chicopee. Now I'm going to put a link to the PlugShare uh, map for that site down below. And I want you guys to go and look at the comments. And the, the issue is uh, they installed eight chargers for four parking spaces. Now, if, if you read the comments and the replies back, unfortunately, they're not, they're not accepting some of the feedback that's being given by the electric uh, vehicle owner community, and they're sort of pushing back on it. And their commentary is basically like, well, look, only one of these plugs can be used at a time. It, it doesn't really matter. So 
even if you can't actively charge off of a charger that someone else is already plugged into, you can queue up. And by queuing up, it means that you can walk away and do whatever it is you want to do, and you can come back later, and your vehicle will have been charged, right? It will activate right after the other vehicle gets finished. And this is actually even more important when you're talking about uh, 15 to 20 minute charge times that you're going to see with these 150 to 350 kilowatt chargers. So it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm saying this directly to Electrify America. It really doesn't even matter. You, you should be putting these chargers at the ends of the parking spaces. One of the one of the reasons they said is, oh, well, this setup allows for different types of vehicles. Well, it's like Mr. Miyagi said, the grape in the middle of the road gets squished. Well, they put these chargers in the middle of the parking space, uh, and that just makes it an average experience for everyone. If you put them at the end of the parking space, then people, again, either choose to pull in head first or back in, and that facilitates whichever vehicle you want it to facilitate. And so instead of putting in four units with two heads each into four parking spaces, you can now facilitate eight parking spaces. And of course, you look at it, they've taken up about a third to half of a parking space between just to put these chargers in. So I feel like that's a poor implementation and it makes me really worry about some of these future Electrify America locations where they're talking about putting 10 chargers in. Are they talking about 10 units with two heads each? Or are they talking about five units with two heads each? So really it's only five chargers that they're putting in. Uh, and again, it's be part of it is because of the thickness of the charger that they're putting in and the depth. And if it, they were narrower and they could be put at the end of the charging location, uh, at the end of the parking spaces, you could fit far more chargers per location, you wouldn't eat up as many parking spaces, and you'd be able to facilitate a lot more vehicles, even if the charger doesn't support sharing. Anyway, so I, I thought this was an important topic. I wanted to bring it up. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, and you could like and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care.